Now we will going to learn um, how to add a constructor to a class. So let me go to this class employee 2 and let me add a common constructor. As I said earlier on in the class that a constructor is a special method that has the same name as the name of the class. You should keep your constructors public so that they are accessible from outside of the class. Um, constructors have the exact same name as a class name and they never have a return type. So probably you can write a statement like public employee2 and parentheses because it's actually a behavior and that's it. The system will not get a complaint about it. Whenever you write a constructor which takes no parameters we call a default constructor and as you would have seen in the previous example that we were able to run this Java class without actually having to write a constructor because when you don't write a constructor the Java compiler the system will gonna write one for you and that is a default constructor the main reason behind a constructor is that it is used to initialize the properties of an object so whenever an object comes into place as you have seen um, in the main method down here that when we create an object emp1 of employee2 class we call upon new that will is used to allocate memory for emp1 in employee2 that is a constructor of employee2 class that is used to initialize or give the initial values to the properties of the class so that the state of the object could be initialized that's all constructor does constructor is called only once at the point of creation of the object and is never called again um, and we have something called garbage collector in Java that pretty much takes care of um, any of the problems like in terms of uh, uh, memory allocation and it deallocates all the memory that's allocated by, uh, by the objects that are not used anymore so you don't have to code any destructors uh, like you probably will code in C++ so here we will try to initialize um, EMP name to a value of let's say uh, not yet set and we would like a commission to be let's say negative 1.0 now the reason I'm setting these values is so that I can initialize it to some kind of a value other than the default for a string object which is null and default for a double variable which is zero now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to test so what I'm going to do is I'll take these four lines, I'll copy them, and as you know that you can copy it several ways. You can right click and choose copy, or you can use control C as a shortcut, or you can even go into the edit menu and choose copy. So either way you can copy. So let's paste this one after we have instantiated the objects because otherwise it doesn't really make sense. Um, to call these before objects get instantiated and just for the testing purpose well, all I'm doing is uh, I'll write the word pre just so that we can tell the difference between the two outputs that this is before there was uh, the objects were set so that's basically the initial values and then we set the values and these are the final values for the objects so now let's save this you can click save all if you would like multiple files to be saved or just save would work, work fine as well um, and now we'll try to run this and now see in the output over here as you can see in the console that uh, the pre values are the values that we set it to not yet set as opposed to nothing and then after we set these values you can see that they have changed to the values that we have set them to so that's all constructors are used for to initialize the values uh, for the properties of an object. Thank you for watching it.